Hello there. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't posted in a while. I've just been very busy and you know with the weather changing I've been affected in a multitude of ways. You know everything from feeling a little more lethargic to actually getting sick at one point. Anyway I'm better now. I've been holding this in for a long time and I just kind of I want to get it out there especially after um, a very large synchronicity that I had yesterday. It would seem that there's just no reason to hold this to myself. I mean, it's it's got to be able to help somebody out there somewhere. So, what it entails is a visitation that I had recently, about two weeks ago, during an astral projection with some ETs. Um, I don't like to call them aliens because I believe that word is kind of derogatory. But um. so what? happened was I had astral projected into the middle astral realm. I was sitting on a ledge in a really strange place, much like this one. Very, very similar, just like an open, open area, nursery, outdoor looking place. Um, I was sitting on a ledge next to a, another entity who seemed to be in human form like me. Um, when all of a sudden up in the sky, about 100 meters north of me was a giant red orb. Um, this orb then landed in the field in front of me. So I was like, what in the hell is this? So I walked up to it. And when I walked up to it, when as I was walking up to it, six beings um, exited this sphere and began to walk up to me. We met in the middle in this field, and this is what I remember. All I can give you is exactly what I remember. I don't remember a lot of it, but I will tell you everything I do remember. Um, the first being that I had communicated with was female. Um, she had breasts. Um, they were all wearing jumpsuits of some kind. The, the reason why I say she has breasts is because she didn't have hair. None of them had hair, okay? They all had smooth, bald heads, they had pointed ears and they had Nordic-like features of their face, meaning they had narrow facial structure with large noses, kind of like, kind of like mine, um, <laughs> honestly. But um, one thing that was also different, very different, was this woman had a pinkish, purplish skin, uh, more like a violet-colored skin, but a little more pink than violet, I'd say. Um, she also had markings on her face okay they were white like a whitish silver but they it went down and dotted her forehead and then dotted around her eyebrows and down her nose and then there was designs on her cheeks I don't remember the exact um, design patterning but that's what I remember the most so what I remember from her is that she was very the energy she was putting off was very welcoming it was very very humble and very loving energy the next being that I and Mind you, I was not speaking words with these beings. It was as if we were just kind of reading each other's auras. Um, I just knew what they were thinking by looking them in the eyes and being close to them. If that makes any sense. The next being that I approached to her right, to my left, was what looked to be a male version of her species. He was blue, though, in color, and he also had some designs on his face, but not as much as her. Um, then this is the weird part, the other being to my left, to his right, came right up to me and started examining my face like this and just looking at me. And he had some kind of strange device on one of his eyes. It was like a monocle, but his skin tone was gray. And, and I got a really curious energy from him. He seemed like a scientist or something. I don't know. It was strange. And like the blue, larger male figure seemed more, you know, like a just like a security figure like he was just watching me he wasn't too interested in me um this is basically all i remember from the experience um i don't remember exactly what was said i just remember meeting them and kind of reading each other's immediate feelings there was no extravagant communications i mean there might have been but like i've told you guys before i'm having a lot of trouble maintaining memory when I come back into my body, once it seems my astral body enters my physical body, a lot of memory is lost to amnesia once I re-enter my physical brain in my body. Um, 
the strange part was I wasn't even going to share this until I started thinking about it. Should I share this? Okay. I had a strange premonition that these beings were from Sirius. Okay. This is the synchronicity. I went, I typed into Google Sirius ET. Okay. And I shit you not. I found a fucking picture with a man and a woman, Sirius, extraterrestrials looked exactly the same as the beings that I encountered. And that's what compelled me and told me that I had to share this video. Um, I never was resonated with Sirius before or Sirius ETs before. This is just a kind of a really random encounter for me. But I've been trying to contact them again in my meditations, in my astral projections. Um, and it was just a really beautiful experience. And you know, I thought about, should I share this? I don't know. But then I was thinking to myself, why the fuck would you not share something like that? It's got to be beautiful to somebody out there. So this is not my first contact experience. I have an, a previous video I uploaded where I talked about another contact experience. But these experiences keep happening and they will continue to happen because as the energies and frequencies rise, you know, contact will be made with extra dimensional beings more and more. So, um, hopefully this, this, uh, story, this experience was helpful to somebody in some way. Um, you know, it was really a beautiful thing. There was no fear whatsoever. And if anything, they just seem like family, you know, like loving family of some kind that, you know, it's just, it comes in strange waves of uh you know fuzziness to me because it's the whole memory transition thing from four five and 4d to 3d still trying to make that jump and keep the memory so hopefully this video helps somebody out there um i love you all all right love and light